to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Wednesday, August 14th, 2013. Here are our top stories. Tonight. Alex Jones may sound crazy, but still has 300 million YouTube, uh, well, yeah, 300 million people that have watched him on YouTube, and that sort of fringe, arch conservative, uh, deeply, I think, racist. MSNBC leans forward in their attack on Alex Jones. That's next on the InfoWars Nightly News. All these egomaniacs and crazy media people that just want to be on TV and be famous. Don't you get it, you jackasses? Well, our lead story tonight is about a rodeo clown, but it's not a laughing matter. It's about some really important principles. Now, the story is uh, from InfoWars, Kurt Nemo's story. NAACP attacks rodeo stunt and political satire. The NAACP is now wanting law enforcement to be called in, and they're and saying that he, this rodeo clown was inciting violence against our president. They also say he, that there were individuals acting out extreme violent behavior and that these were incendiary events. Well, you know, the uh, clown was just basically being a rodeo clown. And although he's now banned for life, it's very disappointing to see that they did not push back against this. Neither the clown has pushed back against it. He's been cowed by the... Uh, suggestions that he was racist. The Rodeo Association has been cowed by that. If you label somebody as a racist, no matter how indefensible that position is, everybody just falls to the ground in submission. And this is very important because there is real racism. And when groups like the NAACP and others use it to cry wolf, what that does is that gives a cover to people against real charges of racism. But there's something even more disturbing about this. And that is something that is really bordering on emperor worship. We've had other people that have criticized uh, presidents. We've had people wearing presidents' masks for all kinds of things. Alex Jones has done it with Bush. We've seen Reagan masks used by bank robbers in films. Uh, it, it's something that people do all the time. As a matter of fact, we have this clip from President Obama using satire. Last year at this time, in fact, on this very weekend, we finally delivered justice to one of the world's most notorious individuals. So our leader can make fun of political opponents, but he's not to be made fun of. And what I find disturbing about this is that this broke on the very same day that we saw a video where parents were teaching their child to pray to Obama. This is very much like the emperor worship that we see going on in North Korea or in other totalitarian regimes. This is actually a child that is praying to wise Obama. Very, very disturbing to see where this is headed. Now, maybe the reason the people at the Missouri State Fair were cheering for an Obama look-alike clown that was about to get run down by a bull was because they had seen a lot of bull thrown at them when candidate Obama was running for office. And just in the last few hours, apologies starting coming in after a rodeo clown put on a President Obama mask at the Missouri State Fair. Now the images are spreading across social media and have some state lawmakers questioning taxpayer funding for the annual event. Tonight we talked to the Higginsville man who shared those pictures in the first place. It's a disgusting portrayal of a sitting president of the United States for one thing. Well, this is all part of a pattern, a pattern we've seen from the Obama administration of propaganda, of intimidation, even assassination of journalists. We have to remember that the Espionage Act of 1917 was only used three times by all the previous presidents combined. Obama has now used that seven times against whistleblowers. Seventy percent of the prosecutions and against whistleblowers, Obama is using that. But also understand that this covert war of propaganda has really become overt. In 2008, as Obama was running, you just saw the clip where he's talking about uh, his truth squad, was telling people that he's a Christian and he's not going to raise taxes on people who are making less than $250,000. That was his truth squad saying that. Then in 2012, when he ran, the truth squads became truth teams. And their purpose at that point in time was to go around and intimidate people by having ISPs shut down the websites of people who were critical of Obama. Now in 2013, he's creating behavioral insight teams, patterned on Cass Sunstein's book, Nudge. 
basically a PSYOP program against the public to move them by manipulating them in public media. And one of the surrogates that they use for that type of manipulation is MSNBC. The, the racial piece of this uh, isn't going anywhere. I mean, Alex Jones may sound crazy, but still has 300 million YouTube. Uh, uh, well, he had 300 million people that have watched him on YouTube. And that sort of fringe, arch conservative, uh, deeply, I think, racist strain is, is being tapped into at, at, at crazy profit by people in the media. Well, it is. And I think that the, the point you just made is the key thing at crazy profit. These folks are getting paid to be racist. They're being paid to be ignorant. Now, you notice they didn't have any clips about Alex saying or doing anything racist. What they have done, and this is very carefully worded, this is organized of defamation. As Alex put it, it is malice of forethought with an intent to do harm. That's a legal definition of defamation. Now, notice also that besides Alex Wagner, there was Michael Steele. And who was Michael Steele? Well, Remember, he had a lot of spending scandals at the RNC. He's really kind of the face of the rhinos and the country club Republicans of the GOP. This is what he said today. He pushed back against uh, Congressman Fernholt from Texas, who told his constituents in a meeting that he thought he had the votes that they could impeach Obama in the House, but that it would die in the Senate. And of course, Michael Steele said, if you really want to give away the House, go ahead, start impeachment, because the fact of the matter is that the public as a whole would repel against that so much that it wouldn't even be funny. You wouldn't even have to bother with 2014, just skip right ahead to the next election. Really, you don't think that we have something to impeach Obama about? Look at what the articles of impeachment against Nixon were. Uh, they, he had used the IRS against political enemies. He had violated the constitutional rights of citizens. Obama has done that to everybody with the NSA. He lied about, uh, he had people under, in his administration lying under oath. Have we seen that in the Obama administration with Fast and Furious, with the NSA, with Eric Holder? We've seen everyone in high positions of the Obama administration exhibit signs of uh, corruption as well as committing perjury, lying to Congress. And yet, Michael Steele doesn't think that that rises to the level of impeachment. I guess we'd have to ask, what does? I mean, we have secret bombing campaigns. We have wars that were started without uh, troops that were committed in Libya without congressional approval. We have American citizens being assassinated abroad without even a trial. That's far beyond anything that Nixon did. He's done everything that Nixon has done far more extensively and added new, very serious crimes to it. And that brings us to our next quote of the day, which is Adolf Hitler. During World War II, he said, National Socialism will use its own revolution for establishing a new world order. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.